for the apex curb on every corner to try and keep he, the Ferrari behind. He's just got to keep it tight, keep it tight and use the grunt down the straights. He's got to aim at the grass on the inside, hasn't he? Ooh. Deny, 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 but look how hard those Vipers tyres are being worked. It barely can handle the power there, and the Ferrari's got to run to Abbey. He'll be on the outside in the braking area. Scott's got the... <laughs> Goodness me! And he makes it. <laughs> oh, he doesn't make it look easy, but he makes it go by nonetheless. The Ferrari has the lead, Aaron Scott. Now changing quickly up through the gearbox yeah, to come into here. bridge. Those Viper engines are thirsty. Maybe they're getting into a fuel situation now. Oh, goodness. Now, look at the way the Viper nearly threw him off the road there, Matt. He's trying to put down 600 horsepower on worn tyres. Goodness me, that was a real fight for both drivers. Now, here's our GT4 leader. This is Matt Nichol-Jones. Took the car over from Stuart Lynch. Together, they're already the GT4 Cup champions for 2008. And fifth overall, such has been the mechanical and accident damage in the GT3 field. So the race leader, well, he looks damaged, but OK. But is the Viper in trouble? As you say, big thirsty engine, but surely they know how much fuel it needed when it came in for the pit stop. Out of bridge bend for the final time for James Sutton. Well, after an accident earlier on and a drive-through penalty as well, I bet the team can barely believe that they're in this position at the end of this two-hour race at Silverstone. And Jeremy Metcalf in third place, closing fast on the Viper in second. It could be a run to the flag. James Sutton is going to win it for CRS Scuderia and with it as well in their first year of racing will go the British GT team's title. What a success.